Alright, what's up everyone? It's Sam from 64 Wheels, back in more diecast, and today we're going to be opening up five older emergency vehicles. So, as you can see here, there's a couple different brands, a couple different eras represented. Uh, the newest one being 2016, I believe the oldest one is here, 1998-ish, maybe one of these. Um, so there's a good span of time and brand uh, representation in this line. So I wanted to tackle this one because that Hot Wheels Car Crusher, that 2005 set, did pretty good. And people said they want to see more vintage stuff or retro or whatever you want to call it. I just call it older stuff because I don't really know where this kind of era fits in. Um, so I'm going to unbox these all at one time. I've kind of had them sitting in a bin forever. I've picked them up at various places, some off eBay, some at local toy shows. As you can see, there's like prices on some of them, which I'll go over what I pay for each of them. Um, but I'm excited about this one. I like emergency vehicles. Uh, some of these are really nice and we're going to touch on some of the best matchbox that they've ever released. They are so good. I'm so excited to open those with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. So the first one, the 2016 release of the Maceo Design 1971 Chevy Camaro police car. I came across this one on eBay while looking for actual B4C, like police coated Camaros, um, to buy. And I spotted this and I thought it was interesting because it has like a big fat, like slicks in the back, like it's a drag car, but it has like Starsky and Hutch style stripe, but it's in California Highway Patrol colors. Just that combination of stuff made it really stick out. So I was like, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that one. So I think I paid roughly $15 for this one off eBay. It wasn't bad. It was more than I wanted to pay for it, but there wasn't a ton of options when I bought this car on eBay. So it was kind of like get that one or go without. So I just went ahead and bought it. So next up we have the, I believe 1998, 1998 Hot Wheels Premier Collection. This is the Fire Collection City of Seattle Chevy Tahoe. So if you've been watching Lamely Group, uh, any of his videos, he's been doing a lot of unboxings of the regular Premier line of like Nissans, Vipers, Corvettes, those kind of things. Um, he's been giving away on whatnot or selling them on whatnot. Uh, but I really like the police and fire, the emergency vehicles, because I think they add a little bit extra detail. I think they're just a little nicer than the normal ones because they do have that added like light bar, a little extra paint where the other ones are just like regular kind of graphics. Excellent line. I like this casting. Uh, I don't think they have, uh, like, I don't think they make this casting anymore. I haven't seen it in a long time, but it's really cool. So I'm excited to get into that one. And this one, this is so cool. If you're not familiar with this uh, particular line or of releases, definitely Google it, hit it up on eBay because these are absolutely just absurdly cool so this is the matchbox collectibles emergency service collection they have interlocking bases kind of like uh, this one has like the cardboard one this one has a plastic as does the uh, dare car over here but these are unique castings to the line that have so much detail to them um, they have custom wheels like for the line they have moving parts just a lot of interior detail in my opinion and you've seen me open um, RLC cars this is better than a modern LR RLC car uh, it's just so so good I cannot wait to open that with everyone so next up I believe this is, is this 2000 or 98 1999 right in the middle there's a line of all of them. These are D.A.R.E. vehicles. So these are like the, uh, what is it, D.A.R.E. to keep kids off drugs. If you grew up in like the 90s or early 2000s, you probably remember the McGruff crime dog and all the D.A.R.E. stuff. They'd like come to your middle school or high school um, and do like the anti-drug campaigns. But this is a pretty cool car. Usually they are cars that have been seized from drug dealers. And they turn them into dare cars or like police cars that kind of like that uh, almost. Um, so this is going to be cool. I'm a big Firebird Camaro fan. So this is one I picked up. I saw it online um, quite a while ago and, and bought it. It was pretty cheap. The car just tore up. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to open it anyway. So I'm going to get the cheapest one I can that's all tore up because it's going to be it's going to be cool open. So um, lastly, we have the Johnny Lightning crime scene chevy tahoe and i thought this one was cool because basically looks like the bad guy car in any like what 1997 to 2005 crime show like a csi or anything like that um this was made in 2002 this is i don't think it's a 2002 tahoe though it is a 98 i think it's a 90 oh 97 that's what i thought because that's the pre um facelift style but this is a cool casting i like it it's simple it goes well with any type of diorama and it also comes with a cool like static window cling um something that i i wish like 
Hot Wheels and other brands would do more of is give you like stickers or something with it. Lionel NASCARs are about the only brand I think that actually does that besides the Hot Wheels mystery vehicles. And those stickers a lot of times come bunched up because they're in the like, pill they're called pillowcases, like those little um, terrible ones. So we'll just go ahead and open these in order. Um, I might, I won't open that one last, but I'll open that one in the middle. I don't want to do it right away. So let's go ahead and bust this one open. So I said I paid, as you can see there, 2016, um, $15 for it. This is a car that if I would have seen it in stores, I definitely would have bought it. I don't remember seeing any of these Maceo cars in stores, um, the police cars at least, but this is cool. It's a little bit larger than um, 164 scale. To me, it looks closer to like, 150th scale is there a scale on it um no i think it actually says 164 scale on it doesn't it? yeah so it says 164 right there down the corner but i think it's a little bit larger than that uh so i had one of these split bumper camaros in real life at a beautiful uh, orange rs it was a 72 really cool so i like this one um it says ss there on the the grill it's a little off center but tampos aren't bad pretty clear no need to speed, drive safe. That's kind of funny. Authority on the license plate. It's got those big, big fake dual exhausts. Those look terrible. Um, but the car itself doesn't look too bad. Uh, it's got the highway patrol graphics, a nice little gumball light right in the center. Um, and it does have, it says, Highway Patrol Inland County. So I don't know if that's supposed to be like a play on the California Highway Patrol and like the Inland Am Empire, like the IE in California. I would assume it is um, playing off that. Oh, look at the speakers in the back too. I don't know if you can see, but it actually has um, color, it looks like. Oh, no, that's probably my case coming off as green right there. But the steering wheel is chrome, and it actually looks like it might have painted gauges. It's really hard to see um, because of the background, like the the dark background. But I think it does. It looks like it has painted gauges there, um, which is pretty cool because a lot of modern cars don't have that. So it does have a screw base, rubber tires. It does have those fat slicks out back. Uh, the skinnies up front, nice gold tire or gold wheels like beadlock style in the front. They're def definitely like drag wheels. Uh, but let's see. Let's see what the engine looks like. Whoop. So it's got a moving part. Oh, hang on. Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, nice. So it's LS swapped. It's got an LS 1 to 7 in it. I don't know. It has red valve cover, so I assume that would be a Corvette. Probably, L I mean, that could still be the LS 1. Um, but that looks awesome. Definitely an LS based motor. It's all chrome, but it does have red. It's really hard to see um, red valve covers there that you can kind of see it a little bit, but nice detail. So in the store, this was probably in 2016, probably four or $5, which I don't think is a bad deal. You get lots of detail, um, detailed interior, rubber tires, a moving part, detailed engine bay, even though it is chrome, it looks good. Like that thing looks awesome. Like, that'll look good in a case with a bunch of other police cars. It'll definitely stand out. Those back tires look awesome. Huge B-lock wheels. That looks great. It's got a little, the goofy, I don't like the, like the, right here, like the, where the screw goes in. I don't like how far it sticks down. It does kind of look goofy. But if you wanted to, you could unscrew the base. Oh, man, that rolls nice. Heck, yeah. That rolls very well. Um, but if you wanted to unscrew the base and customize it, you could do that too. But that looks awesome as is. I definitely like that one. It, was it worth $15? Uh, I don't know. I would have liked to get it. I think $10 would have been a better deal. I mean, obviously cheaper would have been better, but I think $10 is a fair price for that one. I don't know if I'd want to pay more than that, um, but I like it. I like it a lot. So let's go ahead and hop to the next one. The City of Seattle Chevy Tahoe. So let's go back. Um, 1998 there, if you want to see the back of the cards, because a lot of people don't show the back of them. Look at that. 57 Chevy. This was the Premier Collectors Club. So this was like the Matchbox um, RLC back in the day. So it was the same price as the RLC now, $9.99 basically, plus $2.95 shipping. You get a 57 Chevy, a poster, a newsletter, an official membership car, which is actually more than you get now with the RLC, which is wild, or any Matchbox collector model. But I remember seeing these. These were everywhere. And there is the original price, Kmart, $4.99 on that bad boy. So $4.99 back in 1998. Oh, that's probably, what, 6 to $8? I'm going to say 7 safely, maybe even more than that. But I think in comparison to what was on the market, this was not a bad deal. 
Johnny Lightning around this time started coming out with a police car uh, or police car line. So that would have been very close to this price, probably. Um, I remember these being like four, four dollars or five dollars when they came out. So really close to the same price. Uh, but this has a lot of detail. So let's go ahead and open this one up. So this is 20, what, 26, going on 27 years old. This has been in the package for a long time. So um, if you've watched any of my videos before, I've unboxed a few 100% Hot Wheels that have had the rubber bands around them. And you'll know if you've opened any of these, that can be a very troublesome um, area. So here are some of the rubber bands. They've like stuck to the box. Um, luckily for this model, it looks like they all came off um, at some point in this car's life. And it doesn't look like they ripped off any paint, which is nice because a lot of times they do. Like there's no way that one on the trunk isn't ripping the paint off. It's just, it's going to suck, but I'm going to have to take it off. Um, I might not take it off on the video, but I'm going to have to figure it out. But check out this casting. Look how clear those windows are. Nice window trim, nice clear tampos, Chevrolet. It even says Tahoe. It's not as legible as it should be, but this was 26 years ago. Like look how clear the license plate is, the B4. Operations Battalion Chief, Fire Department, City of Seattle. Like you can actually read it, the 1500. Not bad, 26 years old. And I would put this, like if they released this in the Matchbox Collector's line today, I would think it's from 2024, really. I mean, this is so good. The casting looks good. Um, I think they're still using very similar wheels on some of it. It's got a flat black chassis. And I love that they put the scale on it, 167 scale. So like I said before, um, the scale of the cars, obviously, this is not the size of a Tahoe in real life or like a foot and a half longer scale wise, but this looks so good. Like, look at the tampos. It's got a fully painted grill. It's got the Chevy logo. It's got the push bumpers on it. It's got the nice clear light bar. Uh, it's even got a black like trim around the window. I like this, man. So you can even see that the seats are white and then the center console has black detailing. It's got a black steering wheel and a black dashboard. That is better detail than the Porsche 959 RLC car. It's better detail than the last couple Matchbox collectibles model. Collectible? Collector's model? Collector's model. I got off of Creations website for roughly $30 to $40. So in my opinion, I would much rather have these cars, like just keep buying these for ten dollars than buying some of those because it just seems like they just can't match the quality and look of this era for some reason i mean this is excellent like the tires haven't broken down in the past 26 years they're still nice they don't have any cracks in them they look as good as they did when they were new i mean this is a really nice release moving parts would have been cool like if the front doors open but then i think it would have um taken away from the design a little bit so i don't mind um, but this is really good Seriously, that is awesome. It doesn't roll super well. But it rolls, I mean, fine. It's Remember, this is a collector, like a premier collector's model. This isn't one to actually like be played with. Um, this is one to be displayed in a diorama or in a display case with the rest of your emergency vehicles. Um, but it does roll. It just doesn't roll smoothly, as you can hear it. But it looks super good. Like, look how nice that looks. Man, that looks good. Okay. So then the rest of the package, it does come with this box. It's heavily sun stained or faded. Like that's what the art is supposed to look like. Um, and then it does have this little stand ugh, right here that you'd actually put it on. And that's what it's meant to um, display as. If you had a bunch of them, it would be cool. But in my opinion, I just like putting them in a case. So this, because it's so like mangy and it's like it's got like half broken rubber bands. I will probably end up throwing this away. I'll, I might keep the card just for reference, but for now I'm putting both over there. So, all right, this one, I'm so excited for this one. This is the 2000 Chevy. Some people say Impala, some people say Impala, whatever you want to call it, police car. So, um, just as a heads up, this I have one of these open and I absolutely love it. I will show you more of this one. This is the Ohio State Patrol one, um, which is cool because I'm in Ohio. So I grew up like I seen this car when it was actually driving like 2000 to 2005, basically. Pretty cool to have that. Um, but the NYPD, this is a pretty recognizable livery. I'd say this and then the CHP, the California Highway Patrol are like the two most collected 
police cars, and then I'd put Chicago in there um, too. But this car is absolutely awesome. It has a price tag on the bottom of $7.99, which I believe is not the actual store tag. It's like a tag that someone at a toy show or something put on. I bought this actually at the Trans Am Nationals uh, in Fairborn, Ohio last year. A guy inside was selling a ton of cars, and he had this price for $3, which to me is a steal. Even if that ruins the paint, it is an absolute deal because this is so cool. When you see it open, you're going to be definitely be impressed. So there you can see uh, the 2000 Suburban Fire. It actually looks very similar to the Tahoe, uh, but it does have a front opening door, but it has those nice steel wheels to it. A similar police uh, style light bar on the top. I'm going to have to hunt these down uh, and see what uh, what else is in this line because it is incredible. So this is another one that doesn't have a good package. This has been crushed. It's It's been, you know, what? This is what year did this come out? 99. It's been in the package for 25 years. It's, it's kind of tore up and dusty at this point. So while I'm going to try to save it, um, this is not one I'm going to be putting back into the package uh, because I like to have them out and able to touch them and look at them. Uh, whenever I want. To me, that's more fun than looking at a package. So let's go ahead and open this up. 25 years in the package, though. That's kind of crazy. All right. So let me put this over here. So this one... Oh, I've got a little, got a little love note here. What's it say? Two-year limited warranty. I think it's expired. What do you think? Okay. So it's got these little tie things. Oh, man, they... Like, this is crazy, the amount of work they've done to keep this car nice in the package. All right, let's see here. So what is that keeping? So that's keeping the actual, like, base down. Okay. Remember when everything, like, every toy you opened had these little wire things? These were on, ev from, like, remote control cars to action figures. They were everywhere. Now you really don't see them too much anymore. Oh, let's see. Okay, let me see if I can take this off without busting anything up. Okay. That looks a little rough. There's, like, rubber band particles everywhere. A little gross. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, most of the rubber band uh, is no longer elastic. This was a insert in the trunk to actually keep the trunk pop so you could see it um, while it was out or in the package. 2000 Chevy Police. I mean, that's, I guess that's cool. Okay. So these are interlocking bases actually too. So let's see. Oh, it's got one screw on the bottom of the car. And I think... I have my screwdriver right here. Let me double check. Okay. Oh, so close. Look at that. Free after 25 years. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to try. I don't know. I really want to take this off slowly ooh, yeah see it's a little little damage already there before i even try to get it so it's definitely going to take um take the pain off there let's see oh man look at it it just breaks away do it very slowly It's almost wiping off at this point. Like it turns into like an ooze. But I will get the rest of that off. Um, but these are so cool. Okay, so let's look at that. I don't know. I don't know if I left all that in. But check this car out. This is an incredible release. Just ignore all the uh, rubber band residue and some of the kinks on that. Um, the cool thing about this model is this is not a car that was released in the main line like this. I think there was a main line casting um, for this era of this police car, but not with this detail. So you can kind of see it has the pad printed headlights, NYPD on the front. It's got the red lights. It's got the push bumpers. There you can see we have nice steel wheels with chrome center caps. It's got a decent police city of New, New, New York, New York on their NYPD. Courtesy, professionalism, respect. It's got dual spotlights with white paint on them. I don't know. 
I like that huge splot of white paint on there um, because it's, I don't know if that's the best, but they did actually paint the mirrors. There are mirrors on this car. It's got a nice light bar. It's got the yellow on the reverse. And the cool thing about this is it has a detailed interior. So you can see it has a gray dashboard and then it has a black radar unit on top of the dash with gray seats. It has a black console with like a laptop and other detailing, but it also has gray painted on it. And one of the coolest things is, is when you look there, it actually has the cage painted on the inside. I mean, the amount of detail on this car is spectacular. Seriously, like this is green light hot pursuit levels of detailing on a car that's 25 years old and of course we have the moving part i will see if i can close this it does it closes nicely it's got more tampos out back now the tampos aren't like uh, i would say green light definitely has the more updated tampos but the back of this car was never anything crazy you can actually read the impala um like tampo right there it's got look at that it's got lights in the back so let's open up this trunk again take a look inside and it actually has let me see if i can move the light a little it has um like a fire extinguisher and some other tools in there that are painted separate from the trunk i mean that isn't on any police car that's not even on rlc cars like that like this is just an amazing release to think that you could just walk into like meyer or walmart or wherever and buy one of these is kind of crazy just because the i mean like look at the amount of detail on this so then if we look at the ohio state patrol which i actually like this one better um, this one, uh, I got loose, so it didn't have any of the issues that the uh, NYPD one because it had been open prior to the rubber bands ruining it. I mean, this has basically the same amount of detail. I just think it looks better in gray. It has a similar light bar, but it's painted differently for the actual house. They patrol there. You can kind of see the interior a little better um, in the colors just because the I think the the painting on it is a little like lighter, if that makes sense. Um, but there you can see the detail on it. Oh, snap. Did I break it? No, I didn't break it. Almost had a catastrophe there. But you can see there, the spotlights are also painted white, but the mirrors are painted black. So for some reason, they wanted the spotlights to be white. And I assume that is because it's like, I guess it's like a bright white light is what they're trying to show. I don't know. Um, but the graphics on this are very nice. You can see that. And it also has... Um, the same detailing in the trunk like look at the American flag just so good seriously so good I think again I think the uh Ohio State Patrol car looks a little bit cleaner the bumper looks better it's got it just has a little bit cleaner tampos on it um, but these are incredible like these look so good if these were on pegs right now I would buy every single one of them they just look so good I love that they put um, the steel wheels on this one just without hook caps. And then you got that one with the chrome caps. I think that looks really good. Both of these, I think, are some of the better or best retail matchbox that you could buy. I mean, these are just, just awesome detail, incredible parts. They just look good. Um, I'm just going to have to clean this one off. But this is such a good release. Please let me know in the comments below if you've seen a better retail matchbox than these two right here or from this line because the detail and the amount of work they went to put the cage the detailing on the inside i mean these are definitely collectors level models these are beautiful releases very very good i mean i really like these so i try to roll it it actually rolls pretty good too let's see the house state patrol yeah they both roll really well i mean look how cool that looks those both look excellent man yeah, let me know what you think of these in the comments. So let me go ahead and push these back out of the way. I'm going to use this card to scoop off all this rubber band junk because it's so gross. It's 25-year-old, like, it's like, it's like not even rubber anymore. It's just like plastic particles. It's like so dry. So, all right. So next up, the Dare collection. This is the, I think, what is this? A 90? What are they going to say? It's like a 92? 90 does it even say just says firebird it doesn't even say i think but compared to the body i think they released this in the mid to late 80s uh, matchbox it in the first place because i think this is the same casting they use without the light bar for the uh, kit knight rider trans am in the it would have been in the same era 1998 1999 ish 
don't know what that is. Ew, look at that. That's a mold. Ew. Gross. Ugh. Gross. It's got a little mold on it. Gross. Yeah, I'm definitely going to rip this one off the thing and throw this in the trash. Okay, that took me way too long to do, and it was gross because I didn't want to touch any of that mold stuff. Let's see. Come on. Oh my gosh, these are so picky. There we go. All right, check that out. So let's check the base. It just says Pontiac Firebird SE 1982, so that would have been the first year of the third gen cars. And this looks so cool. Look at that. To keep kids off drugs. You use, you lose. What's that say? Plainfield Police, because it's Plainfield, Illinois. It has, I think, the same light bar. Is this the same light bar? Oh, it is. Just a little less detailed. It's not actually like um, clear acrylic plastic. It's painted plastic, which is probably a little cheaper. Um, do these, let's see. These do have metal chassis too, which they have a little heft to them. Um, but this is cool. I like the detail on it. It's got painted taillights. This one, definitely a little cheaper feeling. Uh, I think that's just like the basic interior. No detailing or anything like that. Uh, let's see. Keep kids off drugs. It looks good. This one's a little more plain. There's not as much detail on it. This was not the same price point. These were a little bit cheaper. It's got the uh, eight-hole wheels that everybody seems to love. I think they look great on any Matchbox car. Obviously, this roll pr rolls pretty well because it is just... A mainline matchbox from the uh, back in the day just with the light bar on it but it looks really nice like that's a good display car too just with the color the light bar and it rolls really well so if you wanted to play with it that would be a good one to play with but look how good these display all together so I'm gonna try to get let me see I'm gonna try to get rid of this one with the mold on it real quick cuz I don't want to sit here and like breathe this in Gross. The dangers of collecting. Okay, so last up we have the Crime Scene. Oh my gosh, Crime Scene Chevy Tahoe. So this is from 2002. There are some of the other ones that they had um, in the line. I also know they had a couple different named uh, police lines. Like, look at that. That says two ninety nine from Meyer. I bought this for two dollars in twenty twenty three. So, I mean, I definitely got a good deal. It's less than retail, and these are nice. Some of these Johnny Lightning police vehicles go for some big bucks too. Like, they can go from anywhere from ten to man. I think I've seen them go up to eighty dollars at some point for the rare ones. Um, the static cling. Looks to be okay. I don't know. It's probably not as clingy as it used to be 20 some years ago, but this still looks good as ever. Look at that. I mean, overall, Johnny Lightning, like they could have released this today and I would have, I mean, I think it would be fine. Like, I think this looks like a Johnny Lightning, a modern Johnny Lightning. I think they've um, upgraded the tampos a little bit. They definitely upgraded the wheels. So this has the same wheels as the Mach 5 casting. So they must not have had a steel wheel back then or for some reason chose those wheels because um, I don't remember seeing them on a lot of stuff. They actually don't look bad on it, um, but that's what I know them from is from the Speed Racer Mach 5. So this has a very basic interior. It's just black. It does have like a little bit of, um, what do you call that? Like detailing on the dashboard, like that pattern. It almost looks like a real dashboard actually. Um, It's got the uh defrost lines like made into the back window which is kind of cool i don't know how realistic it looks because it gives it like a shield or maybe that is supposed to be like a i don't know is that supposed to be like a bulletproof shield or you think it's just supposed to be uh the defrost lines and they just didn't make it very good because it almost looks like a bulletproof glass even same with back here Kind of looks like that, like it's super thick, but then the front windows are down, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But there you can see there are two black lights in the grill that on the emergency versions uh, were painted red or white or whatever. But since this is a crime scene, more of an undercover look, uh, they have painted those black. So not a ton of headlight detail. They're just white blocks. But if you've ever seen this version of a Tahoe uh, or a, what is it, Suburban or anything like that of the same era, 
they kind of look like that, especially from back here. So this, I mean, look at the, how clear the 1500 is, the Chevrolet looks good. I mean, they really don't like, they really haven't done a lot of changes in the past 25 years to Johnny Lightning other than I think making the tampos better because this, this is probably one of their better castings. I think this looks really nice. The paint has held up. Again, these tires are 25 years old. There is that some cracking right there? Um, let's see. Let's take a look. No. Uh, no, I think those might just be mold lines, like where they molded the tire. I don't think those are cracks. Yeah, because I see them on each one, and they're kind of spaced the same. So, again, metal chassis, and I like that it has an unpainted chassis because that's kind of like what a real car looks like. It's not brushed shiny like that but then like when you look at the underneath like you see silver exhaust you see aluminum bits you see the steel bit so i don't mind that this is a nice casting the paint is decent it's not the best but and it rolls really nice man that's cool so you could see this pulling up nypd the tahoe pulls up or the ohio state patrol got the fire truck man these all look good together i could buy all of these like if any of these were released right now i would pick them all up they just look so good so let me know in the comments uh which one you like the best if you think these have kept up like do you think these have the staying power because i think these all look excellent like to me if you release any of these today i wouldn't question that they were released today or 25 years ago i think they all look really good there's no printer style tampos there's no goofy nothing they just are high quality and they look good so you can't go wrong with that a good high quality car so um if you want something new to start collecting definitely check out the emergency line especially if you like police cars or rescue vehicles or fire trucks because they do have some nice fire trucks in this line too and if this video does well uh i might try to pick some more of the fire trucks up because this like i would like to see more of the the more basic line but i'd also like to get the suburban and the that line too to go with the uh, this one over here so cool yeah let me know what you think of these in the comments i really appreciate you watching this is sam 64 wheels uh i will link any related videos i think i have to these i don't know if i have a ton um down in the description below as well as all my other links for videos um that i've opened recently so like i said discuss it in the comments let me know if you think uh, these are nice. If you like the older lines, let me know what you think of the quality compared to what they're putting out now um, because I'm very impressed with these. So um, until next time, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>